Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this Edge TX snippet, I'm going to show you how to install the Fly Me to the Moon widgets pack for Edge TX. Before I get started, I need to let you know these widgets are for Edge TX only. They will not work on OpenTX. That's just the way it is. It's the developer. He had to make some choices and it works for Edge. So if you want to use these widgets, you need to be on Edge TX. All right, let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to the Fly Me to the Moon website. Link is in the description. Once you get there, this website is operated by Robert. He is one of the primary developers on Edge TX responsible for graphics. He is the guy who created the widgets pack and he's donated these to the public domain, but he calls them coffeeware. So if your budget allows and you'd like to help support his work, he has options on the website to buy him a cup of coffee. Once you're on the website, you'll go to the menu bar and hover over apps and go down to the Fly Me to the Moon widgets pack and select that. Once you're there, scroll through the web page and you'll see a couple of options on the widgets that you get and a little bit about their options and what they look like. He also describes what radios they work on. In my case, my flavor is the Radio Master TX16S. Keep in mind, this is for color radios only. Black and white targets are not supported. The widgets do require Edge TX version 2.6 or higher, so make sure you have Edge TX 2.6 or higher. And once you've met those requirements, you can click on the Get Fly Me to the Moon widgets pack now. When you do that, you'll be brought to the coffeeware page where Robert explains his addiction to coffee and offers you a couple of different options to support him, either via PayPal or Patreon. And he's got a couple of links where you can send him a few dollars just to support his coffee habit. Anyway, once you've decided what you want to do there, scroll down to the bottom and you can go to the downloads page. And once you're on the downloads page, you want to look for the Fly Me to the Moon widgets pack. Click on the download button and that'll download the widgets to your computer. Now, once that's done, the next thing we want to do is connect the radio to the computer. So connect your USB-C cable to the USB-C port on the top of the radio. And then once you've done that, you should be prompted for joystick or SD card. You want to select the USB storage or SD card option on the radio. And the computer will bring up a couple of windows. And while that's thinking, we'll go back to the zip file and open it up. We're done with the website now, so I'll hide that window. Here's my SD card. We don't need the firmware file. Remember, stay out of this folder that's got firmware bin and firmware text. You don't need to be in there. And so in our zip file, we'll click on the Fly Me to the Moon widget pack. And there are two folders we're concerned with in here, FM, 2M, and widgets. So we want to grab both of those. You can hold down the shift button on your computer to highlight both. And then you simply drag those two folders over to the root of your SD card on your radio and let them go. That'll copy everything you need to your computer. If you get any warnings about replacing a file that's already there, just click replace. Okay, with that done, we can disconnect the radio because we now have the widgets installed on the radio. Now we've got our widgets installed, so let me show you how to use them. The first thing I'll do is I'm gonna create a widgets page to kind of test with. So I press the Tele button on the bottom and I'm gonna click on the plus window. So I wanna add a view. So we're gonna hit add main view. And now that we've done that, we can arrange the layout. I'm just gonna use a layout that gives us a full two panels to work with so you can see all the options here. So I'm gonna use two by one and we'll hit set up widgets. Now that we've got set up widgets, click on the screen. Your widgets will show up somewhere in this list. In my case, they showed up at the bottom and I've got three new widgets here. Fly me to the moon timer, fly me to the moon channel and fly me to the moon model. So I'm gonna click timer first and we'll do a, a flight timer. Once you click on timer, you'll get a widget settings option and there are three different options. So you can choose which timer. Remember on the radio, you have timers one, two, and three. So you can choose the one you want to display by selecting the timer number here. Also notice you have X and Y options in here. They stand for positioning on a grid. So think of X as the horizontal axis and Y as the vertical axis. So what I'm going to do is place my widget. I'm going to move it down a little bit. So you can either scroll if you want, you can scroll or you can press on the field and enter values by hand by pressing the plus key, or you can increment by 10, or you can max it out. I'd recommend against maxing it out because if you do that, it puts the widget all the way down at the bottom of the window and you don't wanna do that. You can click default to bring back the default value. So let's move down 20 rolls. So once I've done that, I'll hit return and there we go. There's my flight timer. And notice how nice that looks. He's got shadow detail in here. He's got the graphic indicator showing time use. Uh, very nice, very elegant looking widget. Okay, so that's the flight timer. 
The next one we'll take a look at is the models widget. This is the one that shows you the image that you selected for your model. So we'll click in this open window, select widget, and we'll go down to fly me to the moon model and click on that. And same thing, you've got options to position it not only X and Y, but you can also change the height and width of your model. And you can include the name on the top if you want or not, if you don't want to include it, that's fine. I'm just going to leave the defaults on this one and hit return. And there we go. There's my fly me to the moon widgets model screen. Now, if you don't like the placement on that and you want to make an adjustment, it's very simple. Just click on the widget and hit widget settings. And then you can go down to say, move things around a little bit if you want. So I want that one moved over a little. I'll click on this X field and I'll just scroll over and try positioning it around say 40. We'll see what happens there. So hit return. And now I've got it all the way on the other side of the model box. So it's kind of like right justified in this widgets uh, outline, as you can see here, the red out outline there, it's all the way over to the right. So it's right justified. Okay, so that's the models widget. Now let's take a look at the outputs widget. We'll go back to the first window and I'll click on my widget and I'll hit select widget and we'll go down and click on channel. That's fly me to the moon channel. And in this one, you get an opportunity to select the source that stands for either inputs, mixer, or outputs. So number one is inputs, number two is mixer, and number three is outputs. So depending on what label you want in your box, you choose one, two, or three under source. And then notice you've got options for first, last, X, and Y. What that means is you can determine which channels you wanna see. So for example, if you wanna only see your aileron and elevator, you simply change this to be channels one through two. Now there's no option to select a list, say I want one, seven, and eight, you can't do that. You, you can select one through whatever, or two through whatever, but you, they have to be in order. And then you've got the same coordinate options down here on the bottom of X and Y. So in this case, I'm only gonna show my first two channels, which in my case should be aileron and elevator, and I'll hit escape and escape, and there we go. We've got our first two channels, and there's the channel output. If you want to make a change to the outputs widget, you can simply click on it and go to widget settings and say you want to add a few more channels. You can say, I want all four channels on this, on this plane. So click on one through four and you hit return. And there you go. You've got channels one, two, three, and four, AETR in my case, aileron, elevator, throttle, and rudder. So there you go. There's your outputs monitor. If you want to further clean up the screen and maybe get rid of some of this extra stuff, I'll just show you how to do that too. You can click return and you can remove, say, your flight mode, maybe take the sliders and the trims out. And then when you hit return and go back to your widget screen, you've got a much cleaner display. And, and this is where you can see how the movement or placement using the XY coordinates might be beneficial. You might want to take this outputs one and move it over just a few to kind of center it in your open space that you have available on the screen. Okay, to wrap up this video, I have one other quick thing to show you, and that's that these widgets also respect your themes. So if you press your system button and go to your theme option and pick a different theme, we'll try, I don't know, let's try uh, carbon. That looks cool. Press on carbon and we'll activate that one. And when we go back to widgets, we can see that the widgets respect the theme elements that are set by the theme carbon. Well, there you go. Now you know how the Fly Me to the Moon widgets work on Edge TX. Make sure if you try these out, if your budget allows, that you support Robert's work by sending him a cup of coffee. I hope you like the content. If you do, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down there in the corner so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.